डू यू नो इफ एडिंग दही टू अ दाल चावल रोटी मील विल हेल्प इन रिड्यूसिंग द ब्लड शुगर स्पाइक लेट्स फाइंड आउट टूडे एम हैविंग टू हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ अरड की दाल विद वन टी स्पून घी वन फिफ्टी ग्राम भिंडी फोर वीट चपातीज विद घी इन दैम अबाउट टू टी स्पून एंड वन कटोरी दही और कर्ड अबाउट वन फिफ्टी ग्राम इन टोटल दिस शुड बी अराउंड नाइन फोर्टी कैलरीज लेट्स इफ एडिंग दही हेल्प Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 28 mg increase. We have officially reached the 20s. For comparison, when I had the exact same meal but without the dahi, my blood sugar levels had increased by 35 mg. This is 28. Who knew that one katori dahi could have so much of an impact? In fact, now that I think of it, in the summer drink series, both the drinks that had dahi in them, chaas and meethi lassi, had given very good results. Meethi lassi, despite having four teaspoons of sugar, had only increased my blood sugar levels by 19 mg. And for comparison, drinks with similar sugar levels had given double the result. Clearly, dahi is quite successful at reducing the glucose spike, and that's because it has a decent amount of protein and fat in it. In fact, I had 150 grams dahi, and that had almost as much protein as one medium egg. That's quite a bit. Plus, as you know, dahi is fermented, and because of that, it has lactic acid in it. And these type of organic acids also help in controlling the glucose spike. In terms of progress, we started at 38 mg and now we're at 28 mg. Let's see what happens tomorrow when I add salad to this meal.